Hi, my name is Karen and I'm in the Youth Services Department at Shaker Heights Public Library. I'm here today to share a craft with you. Here's what you're going to need to do this craft. You'll need crayons, black acrylic paint, which will mix with dishwashing liquid, a craft stick or a popsicle stick works. Um, you can even use the cap to a marker if you happen to have one at home. You'll also need a piece of construction paper. So basically the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to color the paper. So you want to pick a color that's kind of bright and will stand out. So I'm going to pick this orange color. So what you're going to do first, oh and I forgot, you'll want to have down some newspaper for the painting part of this project. You'll want to draw a line here and then color it in. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to have the color. And maybe for younger children, mom and dad or mom or dad could maybe um, draw lines with like a ruler so they have an outline to fill in. Then you're going to want to pick another color, so I'm going to use blue, and you're going to do the same thing. Just draw a line. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to paint over it anyway. So just color that in all the way to the top. So if you sat here and watched me do this whole thing, it would take a really long time. So I'm just going to show you one that I did beforehand. So basically this is what it's going to look like when you're done. So you're going to want to have uh, different colors alternating and then going in different directions. And that's to create the effect once we paint, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to put that to the side. Oh, actually no. I'm going to do the painting part now. So you'll um, have a little container here to put your paint in. So what I did was I took some of this black acrylic paint and I added some dishwashing liquid to it. That makes it easier to clean up. So you'll take this brush here. You can use a regular paint brush or you could use like a makeup sponge. Either way, doesn't matter. It just all you're trying to do is get the paint on the paper. So you'll just start up here in the upper hand corner and go across. And you just want to make sure that you cover up the uh, crayon as much as possible. So you'll just continue to do that all the way down to the bottom. And then you might have to go over it again just to make sure you cover up the crayon. So once you're done with that, you're gonna, you're gonna fill up the whole paper and then you're gonna set it aside to dry. So I have one here that I did earlier and I've already painted it. So the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your craft stick or like I said, you can use a cap from a marker and you're gonna draw a picture on this and it's really neat when it comes out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my name, which is Karen. You can draw whatever you want on here. So you're going to just drag the stick across the paint and it will reveal the colors underneath. And as you're doing this, you might have to wipe off a little bit of the paint that gets stuck on the stick. So that's what it looks like when it's done. So you can see the colors that you drew earlier um, underneath the paint are coming through when you scrape off the paint. I made a couple other examples of this so to show you what kind of things, other things you can draw. This is a little house, tree and sun, simple, that I drew. Um, here's a sun. I used just a bowl that I found in my kitchen to trace. And then I use the bottom of this paint container for the eyes. And here's just like a zigzag kind of design. So you can basically just do whatever you want. I actually had a lot of fun doing this craft. And I hope you guys do too.